These reenactors at Fort Richardson State Park are reliving the days when the U.S. Army battled Comanche and Kiowa tribes. What used to be the Wild West is now just up the road from the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Fort Richardson was established out here in 1867. Tecumseh Sherman actually placed this out here. Jack County was one of the most dangerous places in the United States. Indians all over the place. And so he put a line of forts out here to help the settlers integrate into this country. Detail. Halt. The original fort is the site of a living history event known as Fort Richardson Days. What we're trying to do is give everybody a chance, to give these kids a chance to learn hands-on history. Most people get their history from movies and TV. And as you know, 90% of that is, is not correct at all. And what we're trying to do is give them an accurate view of what the Army was out here doing, why they were doing it, also what the ladies did. Each year, Fort Richardson Days features history buffs reenacting everything from blacksmithing to bull whipping. What we're doing out here is demonstrating to kids living history. Now, living history is supposed to look, smell, feel, sound. The, all the impressions are supposed to be just like you were back in that particular time period. There's one bit of Texas history that may surprise a lot of folks. <laughs> well, to fulfill Manifest Destiny in the 19th century, the U.S. Army had to protect settlers moving west. And, of course, as you leave Texas and head into the true desert southwest, uh, there's not a lot of water and the idea was to bring camels in as pack animals. Now, to heat them without a stove... Kids really don't realize just how good they've got it, having central heat, hot and cold running water, just electricity. And they go, wow, you know, this is, this is what people really did. And I think it's important. We need to remember the past. Now, don't be tying your sister up with it, okay? For Texas Parks and Wildlife, this is Lydia Saldana.